all country man back on the air uh I haven't done a video in a while. This is a political rant, more or less. Uh, you don't have to listen if you don't want to. I'm just trying to give my two cents on where things are going. Everybody is uh, vying for a place of the election come November. And there's going to be a bunch. Uh, you can forget any commercials. Uh, for popcorn or candy bars or whatever. It's all going to be political. There are billions of dollars that are uh, going to be spent on commercials for the next, uh, what, nine months, eight months. Uh, my Facebook page, every other post on that Facebook page has got to do something with politics. And I'm tired of it, too. Uh, believe it or not, I'm going to tell you where I stand. I've already said it once. I'll say it again. I have $14 in the bank. I'm poor. I live below the poverty level. And uh, I would say that I'm a Republican, but I don't like what they're saying either. And Bernie, oh lordy, that boy is way, way out there in left field. And uh, Hillary, it would be more of the same that we've had for the past eight years with old bummer. Uh, he put us in the toilet and she'll flush it. Do I think Trump is on my side? The guy's a billionaire. I got less than 50 bucks in the bank. We have nothing in common except maybe his morals. I don't know where his morals are. I don't know. Uh, as a businessman, he has uh, supported Democrats. He even give money to look, uh, Clinton campaigns. So, uh, you know, when you're having to bribe somebody to get something done, yeah, that's dirty politics. But uh, is he standing up for the American people right now? Yeah. They're, they've got a 130% uh, increase in the amount of Republican voters, and a lot of the Democrat voters are coming over to, and voting for Trump. I don't know if they want him to uh, win the... Uh, primary elections, and then they think he can beat Hillary. In my opinion, I don't think he will. Uh, I, I think he will. I, I don't think she will beat him. I think he will. Uh, if it goes to a broker convention, like they're talking about, uh, broker convention is another uh word for political sh shenanigans. I, I, that scares me. It, it would be like having a uh, constitutional convention. When you open a constitutional convention, not only do you open up whatever you want to get in the Constitution, but you open up everything else that's in the Constitution. Your First Amendment, your Second Amendment, your Fifth Amendment, uh, your Fourth Amendment, your Tenth Amendment, all the stuff that uh, was what our country was founded on, all those are up for discussion when you open a constitutional amendment. Uh, you know, you, you don't want to do that. Constitutional convention. So, uh, what are we going to do? Uh, <laughs> I told a friend of mine, I says, I'm going to vote for Bernie. I said, that way my food stamps will go up. And he said, you don't have to worry about it, country man. And I said, what's that? He said, you vote for Bernie. You don't have to worry about food. And I said, well, why is that? He said, I will shoot you. <laughs> so uh, I got a good kick out of that. But uh, this is where I stand on it. I think Trump will make a good president. Uh is he status quo? No, I think that's the reason I like him. Is he going to toe the party line? No, I think that's the reason I like him. 
Is he going to flip sides and flip flop over to the Democrat side? Oh, no. I guarantee you he won't do that, uh, in my opinion. And opinions are like uh, uh, dirty noses. Everybody's got one. You know how you know what I'm talking about. But uh, in my opinion, Trump will be good for America. Is he going to carry a lot of the states? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. This is my two cents worth. What's going on in my life besides that? They're messing up my Rabbit TV. I pay $35 a year to watch TV on Rabbit TV. And uh, I got my YouTube and I got my Facebook and I pay my internet bill. just went up $10 a month. But since I ain't paying $100 a month for uh, cable TV and I just do everything right out here in front of the computer, I think I'm still saving money. I've got about $275 disposable income next month. And you know what I'm going to buy? Absolutely nothing. Uh, I am going to try to save me up some money. I am going uh, to work on putting about $150, $200 back of uh, disposable income and work on my Dave Ramsey $1,000 emergency fund. And... I've got a few other things that I want to do. I'd like to, uh, you know, start selling snares. I figured I'd sell them on my website. If they don't sell, come shit at the fan SHTF situation, I'll have them. I've got me a means of transportation going to be coming soon. Uh, go buy me a lawnmower off the guy. That way I can run it up down the street. Uh, I'm right next to the river over here, one block. I'm on the levee, up the levee, over the levee, and gone fishing. That's what I plan on doing. I've uh, been here a year and a half, and I'm not going to sit here in this house all summer long. I just ain't going to do it. Uh, not much going on as far as canning right now. The food haul video will be coming out around the, I don't know, somewhere between the 1st and the 10th, whenever the... Uh, Good sales get here. Let's see what we got. The get. Let's see. We'll have a sale paper coming out the day I get paid my social security disability, and then six days later, well, actually we got one that starts uh, three days later. So we'll take those two papers and we'll go from there and see what's going on and see which one's better and we'll do a food haul video and uh, who knows I got a friend of mine at church he's going to give me some uh, quart canned green beans if that happens I'll show you what he gave me it's a kind of a barter situation he offered to give them to me and they're in quart jars so I offered him a dollar a jar uh, just to give him his money back for the jars I, if he comes through and gives me the green beans which I ain't had none in three years but I figure I can put it in preps, and if I really, really have to, I can eat the things. But if you knew how many green beans I ate in the old folks' home, you wouldn't even put it on my plate, and you'd feel sorry for me, trust me. But uh, I'm just rambling. Countryman out for now, and if I can do it, anybody can. God bless.